Hi, I'm Colby Pope, Florida State student meteorologist, and I'm here at St. Mark's Lighthouse. Here on the coast, there's Appalachie Bay over, uh, it's actually going to be to your left. You're not going to be actually able to totally see it. You kind of can see it here. This is actually looking, you're looking due west, and you can see a very uh, broad complex of shower and thunderstorm activity. It's actually making its way, it's moving right at us, actually. It's moving right at us, and this is again looking back towards the west. This would be back looking back towards Appal Appalachicola, actually. And again, lighthouse is directly over here to your left and back behind the shot. You can't see it, but the winds are starting to really pick up here. The winds are starting to pick up here. And as we look out into the bay, we can really see some ominous looking uh, shelf style clouds of that next line of shower and thunderstorm activity that's going to be coming on in. Uh, it would be coming on into Woodville and probably a little bit south of Tallahassee, so Woodville and eventually into the St. Mark's area. And this is going to, this is that same system. Uh, this is part of Tropical Storm Colin that's actually going and uh, it'll be making an official landfall tonight or this later this evening and then it'll dissipate as it continues on through southern Georgia and uh, but somewhere I would say it'd go back out over the Atlantic Ocean between Savannah and Jacksonville so again this is part this is almost a, just kind of the back end of the storm I, I would say that we will probably see shower and thunderstorm activity in the Tallahassee area I would say probably into the 1, 2, maybe even 3 a.m. range, but I think it'll really be clearing out for tomorrow. So again, we're looking to the west and you can almost, you can't even almost see the cloud base. It's so low to the ground. And this thing has been really putting down some heavy rainfall amounts. Uh, the seas you can see are starting to get a little bit choppier. I would say probably maybe a one to two foot storm surge because it's really, you can't really appreciate the storm surge because this thing is so unorganized. And so, it, but it has pushed water in and you can definitely tell that the water level is a lot higher than it usually is. There's a lot of backwash here coming into this, uh, uh, barrack water back, brack water uh, back into here a lot more than usual for this location. So again, this is looking back to the west. This is looking back towards Apalachicola across Apalachee Bay here at the St. Mark's Lighthouse. We're starting to get a little more wind, a little more wind, I would say probably eh, 20 with some gusting to 30, but this is only going to get stronger as he's, um, as a center of Tropical Storm Colin, very disorganized, but the actual center starts to come on uh, to shore here and make landfall. Expected to make landfall a little bit behind the camera. It's actually going to make landfall back this direction, probably back towards Cedar Key, more a little bit closer to Cedar Key, somewhere between here and Cedar Key. That uh, area of the uh, circulation of Colin will make landfall, but again, Colin not that big of a deal because this thing was so disorganized as it as it was uh, coming together it really never had the time or the opportunity to really strengthen and again you can continue looking west and you can actually see the rain coming this direction so my time's really limited here you can actually see the the rain curtain slowly making its way here in a very ominous sight i'll try to get some more shots for you but again i'm florida state student meteorologist colby pope live here at the saint mark's lighthouse